Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to check the Runcam Link FPV Air Unit. The reason this video is going to be pretty quick is because basically what Runcam did is to bundle their new Phoenix HD camera which was especially developed for the DJI HD FPV digital system with an LCP antenna which kind of resembles the antenna which is bundled with the Vista Polar Kit and the Vista slash Air Unit Lite which as you may or may not know is made by DJI and is no longer marketed exclusively by Cadex. So the Vista unit which is included in the Runcam link is completely identical to the ones which are included in the Vista kits which are sold by Cadex which means that it can be paired directly with between 2 to 6S batteries and etc. And in case you are not familiar with the Vista unit you can check out my review in this link over here. So basically there are two things that are new in this kit. First of all the fact that Runcam are able to bundle the Vista unit along with their camera and I assume that soon we are going to see more manufacturers like Foxeer that are going to do the same thing and also the Phoenix HD camera. The Phoenix HD is very similar to the Cadex Polar which means that it's a micro-sized FPV camera which supports 60 frames per second 720p videos. Unfortunately due to the global chip shortage it does not allow you to change the camera settings using the DJI goggles and it is limited to 60 frames per second again just like the Cadex Polar and unlike the Nebula Pro and the DJI camera it does not support 120 frames per second video. In addition the weight of the Phoenix HD camera is 7.9 grams so it's 1 gram lighter than the Cadex Polar. Including the Vista unit and the bundled 12cm long MIPI cable it weighs 27.6 grams and the total weight including the bundled antenna is 30.4 grams. As for the outer dimensions of the camera they are 19 by 19 by 23.6 mm. Now for the question that probably interests you the most is the Phoenix HD better than the Cadex Polar? And unfortunately I still can't provide you with the answer to this question because I didn't finish comparing both cameras but you can expect a full side-by-side -side comparison of both cameras under different lighting conditions to be up in the next few days so stay tuned and once the video is going to be up you'll be able to answer this question for yourself. Anyway from what I can tell so far the Phoenix HD might be better under extreme low light conditions and the Cadex Polar during daytime. As for the new bundled antenna, using the SWR meter I can tell that it's supposed to be working best when the frequency is going to be set between 5800 down to about 5681 and in comparison the antenna which is bundled with the Cadex Polar should work best when the frequency is set to below 5775 and the antenna which is bundled with the original Cadex Vista system seems to be working best on the lower end of the spectrum at about 5700. Now by the way in case it's not clear just like the rest of the DJI compatible cameras the Phoenix HD is compatible with both Vista and DJI Air Unit and in case it interests you here you can see the Polar and the Phoenix HD cameras without their back cover. Now I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage that I captured earlier today under low light conditions using the Phoenix HD camera and I know this video is still not 100% complete as I haven't provided you with any day footage but again the side by side comparison video of the Polar with the Phoenix HD is going to be up soon and then this type of footage is going to be included. As a side note I would like you to consider the fact that making this type of side-by-side -side comparison videos is not only time consuming it is also a little bit expensive as I have to use two sets of DJI goggles in order to capture this type of footage so in case you can afford it please consider joining my Patreon page and if you can't that's more than okay consider subscribing to my channel in case you are not already subscribed and leave a thumbs up in case you like this video. As always I wish you happy flying, in case you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments section down below and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.